How did this get here? What's good everyone, it's Marvin from mjo23dan.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, consider subscribing. I talk about Air Jordans, I talk about Nike sneakers, pretty much on that level, and of course, jerseys. So, one of my pastimes is collecting jerseys, especially Michael Jordan jerseys. Uh, I have stuff from Champion, from Mitchell and Ness, Nike. So this is Mitchell and Ness's newest creation here. This is an authentic uh, Michael Jordan Chicago Bulls jersey in gold. The history of the gold versions and why they exist is that during the 1997-98 NBA season, Nike had pretty much taken over the NBA license and champion was no longer able to create authentics for the nba so what they did is they created swingmans and basically swingmans are a replica or you know lower grade cheaper values as compared to what the players wear on court it doesn't mean that it's fake it's just a tier lower that's affordable for everyday people so basically if you are in the market for buying a so basically, if you're in the market for buying a Honda Civic, there's the EXL, the EX, the LS, GS, whatever. It's just going down a level. So uh, what Mitchell and S did is that they paid homage to those gold jerseys that Champion had produced and made it into an authentic. So the gold jerseys from Champion actually released during the 97-98 season. Champion was still able to recreate their replica jerseys but they made swingmans so what they did is they recreated 13 players from that season so there's a few criteria and here's the list so this information is taken directly from a blog called champion blogger and it was a pretty cool read once you you know start to understand what the significance is of the gold jerseys now the gold jerseys and why they're so popular is Drake, pretty much an influencer, right? He wore a version of the champion replica jersey and it pretty much elevated the gold jerseys up a notch, right? Because they were only going for about 50 bucks, under 100 bucks really. And then now on eBay, they're going for about 250. Uh, for dead stock, it, it's like 350 and above. So pretty much the cost of the Mitchell and Ness jersey. So it's really up to you guys if you guys want the champion gold from the 90s or you guys want the authentic from Mitchell and S. But I'll go over this just a little bit. Let me just give you a little bit more of a brief history regarding the gold jerseys. So the name of the series was called Champion Gold. And the criteria in order for you to achieve gold status was between 13 players overall in the NBA. And basically you had to have been a 1997 All-Star game uh, starter. You also had to be the Schick Rookie Game MVP, Nestle Slam Dunk Champion, League MVP, or Rookie of the Year. So if you were that in 1997, going into 1998, those players are Charles Barkley. He was a Western Conference All-Star. John Stockton, Western Conference All-Star. Hakeem Olajuwon, Western Conference All-Star. Sean Kemp. Now, something interesting about Sean Kemp is that he was traded at that time from the Seattle Supersonics to the Cleveland Cavaliers. So, what we were supposed to get was Sean Kemp's Sonics jersey, but we actually got a Cavs jersey in the number, his number four. So, I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, Gary Payton, Western Conference All-Star. Michael Jordan, of course, Eastern Conference All-Star. Scottie Pippen, Eastern Conference All-Star. Anthony Hardaway, Eastern Conference All-Star. Patrick Ewing. Patrick Ewing was an Eastern Conference All-Star, but he did not play due to injuries, so Dikembe Mutombo actually took his place. But Champion actually commemorated Patrick Ewing achieving that status and recreated his jersey in gold. We also have Grant Hill, who was an Eastern Conference All-Star. Kobe Bryant, he was not an All-Star in 97, but he was the Nestle Slam Dunk Champion. Allen Iverson was the Schick Rookie Game MVP, and he was the NBA Rookie of the Year. Finally, Karl Malone, who was the NBA MVP. 
So anyways, enough of all that. That is the brief history. Hopefully it's brief for you. But I, I always like, you know, those historical notes and having companies and brands pay attention to the stories and, you know, hoping that it's accurate, which, you know, is pretty much in line. But there's one thing about the Mitchell and S jersey that um, I thought was interesting because as I noted in the video here, it's from the 97-98 season. Pretty much the gold replica is released, you know, a week before uh, the NBA All-Star weekend. So what they have here on the jack tag is the, uh, it says 1995-96 on there. And this pretty much recreates Michael Jordan's 95-96 jersey. But, you know, like again, like I said, it, it's really weird that it's not 97-98 because this is pretty much when the gold jerseys dropped so but overall um a lot of people thought that this was a cash grab from mitchell and s which i mean if you're a business yes you're gonna take that opportunity to go ahead and you know try at all means to you know produce jerseys like this but you know what this was a great great jersey it, it hasn't released yet i'm told it's supposed to release january 23rd today is january 22nd it is the 13th anniversary of Kobe Bryant's 81 points. So uh, if you guys want to see a review on the Kobe One Pro Tro, uh, you can click the card above and I'll also link it down in the description. But yeah, this is the Mitchell and Ness Chicago Bulls Michael Jordan authentic jersey. Everything here is pretty much embroidered on. That is the front. And then that is the back. <laughs> My wife saw it. You know, she was wondering, she stopped, and because I had it like downstairs, I was taking some pictures on the floor, and she stopped and just looked at it and was like, why is it piss yellow? <laughs> I'm like, no, you don't understand. I had to break down the story and everything. So um, it does fit true to size. Let me go ahead and, and just throw it on for you guys. So here we go. Now, of course, I'm wearing a sweater, so it's... It's going to be a little bit tight, but, you know, overall, it's a great, it's a great jersey, man. If you guys are a jersey collector, Michael Jordan, um, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, whatever jerseys that you guys collect, uh, the Jordan jersey is actually worth it to me. So if you guys want one, I will throw a link in the description where I purchased mine. I got it from Corporate Gotham out in Cincinnati, Ohio. Shout out to you guys. Thank you guys for the fast shipping. Uh, it's a great jersey. I love it. Uh, if you guys like the content, subscribe to the channel again. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And I will talk to you guys later. Take care.